Hello gems welcome to a series today i am here with a small video a relatively small video in which we are going to discuss bit set previous year questions from the chapter of electromagnetic waves but what happened to the magnetism chapter gem hey you are not supposed to comment that uh, we'll come to it in the next class okay also towards the end of this video i am going to share some tips with you on how to prepare this chapter for your bit set so stick around till the end and give me some watch time let's begin today's class so question 1 and 2 over here the discrimination ends today i mean no question categorizing today okay so take a question as a question not more than some other question relevant only if you are a gem let's come to this one an electromagnetic wave is incident on a material if p is the momentum transferred e is the energy transferred then okay so most of the questions today are going to be fact based so yeah get ready for it okay i hope you are ready with your answer over here okay the correct answer over here is option b okay the momentum as well as the energy transferred will be non zero an electromagnetic wave is capable of transferring both energy as well as momentum okay you might know the formula that energy density is half epsilon not e not square and the momentum is energy density by c okay so basically an electromagnetic wave can transfer both energy as well as momentum so the momentum transferred and the energy transferred will be non zero okay it will be some finite value let's come to question 2 now by the way this was a question from 2008 let's come to question 2 it's from 2007 here we are given vs is the speed of gamma waves in vacuum vx is the speed of x rays in vacuum vm is the speed of micro waves in vacuum okay so you are supposed to find a relation between them such a small brain question right uh, we will not get confused with this inequality we know that all three of them are electromagnetic waves and in vacuum they have the same speed which is 300 million meters per second i know you said 3 into 10 to the power 8 which means the same yeah just to say it in a fancy way i said 300 million meters per second so the correct answer over here is all three of them will have the same speed okay because all three of them are electromagnetic radiations right and the speed is measured in vacuum same medium okay so option d all three of them will have equal speed Okay, over to the next set of questions now. I hope this was very simple. So, question three and four over here. Question three from two thousand and six. In this question, uh, an electromagnetic wave used in food processing as sterilizing agent. Fact based questions, everybody. I told you, right? These are type of questions wherein you know, you know. If you don't know. uh you can either give it a guess plus 3 minus 1 or you can just leave it plus 0 okay so i want you to try your luck over here or if you know the answer well and good okay so the correct answer over here is option b uv rays are the rays which are used in food processing as sterilizing agent okay the last few pages of your ncert sums this up they have uh, given the electromagnetic radiations along with their Uh, applications okay so do read your ncert especially the last few pages if you want to answer such type of questions now let's come to question 4 it is from 2013 in this question you are asked electromagnetic wave with smallest wavelength now i remember when i was in class 12 me and my benchmate credits given uh, had developed this hack in order to solve this type of questions okay smallest wavelength highest frequency and questions like that okay so the heck was we just used to remember the order gamma x u v i m r okay gamma x u v i m r and of course the order is irrelevant over here we need to know something in order to determine the smallest wavelength right so we used to remember that in going from left to right the wavelength increases okay in going from left to right the wavelength increases which means that radio has the highest wavelength right wavelength increases radio waves have the highest wavelength and gamma waves has the lowest wavelength okay so here the correct option will be option c okay gamma rays have the smallest wavelength over here now this was ruined by one of my coaching friends who just told me another trick uh, the trick was grand xuv in my resort okay grand x u v in my resort okay if you have some other tricks you can do share it in the comment section smash a like if you enjoyed this trick okay grand x u v in my resort 
and of course do remember that uh, frequency increases as we go from left to right and for sorry wavelength increases in going from left to right and for frequency it's just opposite okay uh, the frequency will decrease in going from gamma to r okay gamma has the highest frequency r has the lowest frequency okay let's move to the next question now question 5 over here in this question you are given the equation of your electromagnetic wave you are asked for the energy density okay so in a way they are just asking you for the formula of energy density over here okay so this i actually mentioned it in the very first question the formula is half epsilon naught e naught square okay some of you might remember it in the format of erms just convert it using this relation that erms is e naught by root 2 okay you will reach over here now don't confuse it with this value this value is for uh, the amount of energy density in electric field or the amount of energy density in magnetic field okay so one fourth is there in electric field and one fourth is there in your magnetic field so one fourth plus one fourth gives you half epsilon naught e naught square okay so half epsilon naught e naught square is the density is the energy density in this way okay so that was the answer over to the next question so question 6 and 7 over here in question 6 from 2009 you are given that the maximum field intensity of the magnetic field associated with an electromagnetic wave is 20 nano tesla okay you are supposed to find the peak value of the electric field associated with the electromagnetic radiation okay such a simple question you are just supposed to know the relation that c is equal to e naught by b naught okay remember one thing that these values are the peak values over here okay you can uh, you cannot just simply write c is equal to e by b it should be c is equal to e naught by b naught okay peak values over here okay that is the point uh, to remember okay now we have to find the electric field so we can write b naught into c will give us e naught now what is this c c is uh, speed of this radiation okay which is nothing but 300 million meters per second okay 3 into 10 to the power 8 and into b naught c into b naught will give us e naught so this is 20 nano tesla so 20 into 10 to the power minus 9 that will give us our e naught so this and this will get cancelled as 10 to the power minus 8 right 10 to the power minus 8 and this and this will go okay so 2 3s are 6 so the maximum or the peak value of the electric field is 6 volts per meter okay so option b is the correct choice over here now let's come to question 7 here we are given the peak value of the electric field we are supposed to find the maximum intensity of the magnetic field of course they are associated with electromagnetic waves okay so again the same relation we are supposed to use uh, only difference is we are supposed to find b now b naught now okay so b naught will be e naught by c right let's do it orally okay uh, so what is that okay b naught will be e naught by c so e naught by c so this divided by c so c is 3 into 10 to the power 8 so that will go on top 10 to the power 8 will go on top as 10 to the power minus 8 okay and this you divide by 3 so 3.1 so 3.1 into 10 to the power minus 8 okay so option a is the correct choice over here you need not necessarily write everything right it is not an commercial that you'll get good marks for a handwriting okay it is bit set so here the correct answer is 3.1 into 10 to the power minus 8. Now uh, you might also have questions wherein you are asked for C, okay, wherein you are given the value of E naught and B naught and you are asked for C. Now in that case, don't use your big brain and say it's an electromagnetic wave. It will have a speed of 3 into 10 to the power uh, 8, right? Don't use your big brain. Why? Because the medium is not specified right it is 3 into 10 to the power 8 in vacuum only okay so uh, whenever e naught and b naught and uh, e naught and b naught are given and you are asked for the value of c do calculate don't use your big brain okay so let's move to the last question for the day yeah apparently so question 8 over here from 2015 this is the last and the best question that we are doing today so you can pause the video now and give this question a try okay in this question you are supposed to find the electric field vector and the magnetic field vector associated with an electromagnetic wave which is propagating in positive z direction or k cap direction okay so first of all pause this video 
okay so first of all i can see that uh, i can reject option c and option d okay why because uh, one primary thing you'll know about electromagnetic wave uh, is that the electric field the magnetic field and the direction of propagation are mutually perpendicular to each other right so here we know that the direction of propagation is along k cap right so electric field cannot be along k cap of course right because it has to be perpendicular right they are mutually per uh, perpendicular electric field magnetic field and direction of propagation since direction of propagation is along k cap electric field of course cannot be along k cap right makes sense uh, here also if you see magnetic field is along k cap which can't be the case right it cannot be in the direction of propagation it has to be mutually perpendicular so the only two options left uh, left over here is option b and option a okay so the logic that we are going to use over here is direction of propagation is direction of propagation is given by e e bar cross b bar okay we are going to cross this vectors we'll just cross the unit vectors over here and see which vector gives us k cap right direction of propagation is k cap so which uh, by crossing which two combinations do we get k cap so let's take the first combination here if we cross i cap and j cap i cap cross j cap i hope you know this i j k okay so i cap cross j cap will give you k cap right i cap cross j cap will give you k cap okay so this is the thing that we want right we want the direction of propagation to be in the uh, k cap direction so option a is the correct choice over here if you see for the direction of propagation in the second case it will be j cap cross i cap right j cap cross i cap that will be negative k cap right j cap cross i cap opposite uh, um, opposite sense you are moving then it will be minus k cap or you can see j cap cross i cap you flip the order it will get uh, it will give you minus k cap okay so the correct choice over here is option a first we rejected the two options because magnetic field cannot be along k cap electric field cannot be along k cap and then we found out which combination gives us the direction of propagation as positive k cap okay given in the question so option a is the correct choice over here okay so i'll look out for homework problems if i can find any i'll give you your tips then and then we can wrap up with the class okay so yeah so that's all for today's class i don't have any homework question as such if you want to try out you can answer this one in the comment section uh, the question is if the conduction current is 20 amperes what is the displacement current i repeat if the conduction current is 20 amperes what is the displacement current okay if you answer me correctly in the comment section you'll surely receive a heart okay now time for tips which you were waiting for now simple tips to prepare this chapter for bit set is to rely on your ncert okay rely on your ncert read ncert line by line if you want to practice problems related to this chapter you can refer some reliable reference book not taking any names because this video is not sponsored as usual okay now major questions are asked from only four to five topics i'll sum them up uh, one is displacement current questions can be asked from displacement current so this should be the topic of your focus uh, questions can be asked for, from speed e not b not c is equal to e not b not those relations questions can be asked from your spectrum related questions right the fact based questions last few pages of your ncert so those type of questions also questions can be asked from energy momentum okay and some direction based question direction of wave propagation direction of electric field direction of your magnetic field those type of questions are also popular okay so this four to five topics you have to focus on so those are all the tips okay i hope you enjoyed today's class if you did enjoy it smash like subscribe i'll see you soon in the next class till then keep enjoying physics